Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kay. I'm here to give you an update about some strings that I have in Lekka. If you remember, about two months ago, I had done a video with my string of heart and string of pearls. They weren't doing too well in Lekka, and I did promise that I'd give an update. Well, it's not very good news. Um, they ha they haven't died but they haven't um thrived either as you would a plant in um would expect a plant that is um having all the nutrients and food that it needs to survive so i am hoping that with spring it will start to do better so i'll show you first the string of hearts so here we are I mean, it hasn't died, as I say. There's still about two strings or, yeah, two strings left in here. Um, I'm not going to touch it to prune or do anything whatsoever to it because I feel that every time I look at this plant and do anything to it, I lose a leaf or a, a, or a, or a, um, a vine. So, therefore, I leave it. I'm leaving it as it is. I just... Put it somewhere, ignore it, just make sure that the water hasn't dried in the reservoir and I'll go to top up while sort of looking away. I don't look at it directly because I feel as though I jinx it. So the leaves that are here, they're nice and fat and plump, really fat and plump. And um, so obviously, um, you know, those bits are healthy. As I say, um, as spring is coming, I'm hoping that it will start to put out new roots um, wherever and just start doing something because at the moment um, it's just hanging on. So this is the string of hearts. The next one is the string of pearls. And if I don't know if you remember, um, I'll see if I can find photos of what it looked like um, in the past. I had to put it in a smaller pot and um, this is what we have. This one, again, I am not touching. I am not pruning. I am not taking away the dried bits. I'm doing nothing because I feel the more I ignore this plant, the better off uh, it thrives. Because um, if you look, you can see fresh new um, pearls coming up here. Um, this one is nice and healthy as well um around here this one is plump and juicy and healthy so um yeah uh this one as well you know there's quite a few bits that's coming up and i feel that the best thing for me to do is to just ignore this plant and it will just do its own thing um i'll just make sure that the the reservoir is top top and that's basically all i do but um not much to show unfortunately um it hasn't um done very much for me in lekka um but saying that um these plants were in soil before and were actually dying hence the reason i transferred them to lekka um, so I feel that it would have died totally had it been in soil. Um, so it's just a matter now of waiting and see, I'm, I'm, you know, banking a lot on spring to see what it has got to offer in terms of how my plants will bounce back. The other one I wanted to show you, um, I don't know the name. Um, I'm not going to try and remember this one i got in the garden center for very cheap it was a big plant that was dying and it was for I, I can't remember the amount of money but it was for very little and i bought it and it just kept dying and dying and dying and just dying constantly and this is all i've got left from the plant um if you if i don't know if you remember it was in a green pot and it was quite long it was over a foot long this is all that I've got left of it. And um, obviously there's some root there somewhere. I only uh, make sure that the I top up the reservoir and make sure that it has got food. And that is all I do for this one as well. I don't um, fuss about with it. So I'm hoping once again that, um, 
you know, as the, the, the season change, then the plant will start um, doing better in terms of um, the growth. So yeah, so these are the three that I really wanted to give you feedback on. I have gone out and bought myself uh, another string of pearls. I don't know if um, you remember I mentioned this quirky little garden center hidden away um, not far from here in Ascot. And I decided to pop back up there to have a look at um, what they have on offer. And they had a string of hearts. And I took it home and um, I'm sorry I didn't do a before photo because what I did is I took this plant um, home and just took it straight upstairs and pop it into my bathroom and I just plunk it down. I haven't watered it since I've taken it home. I haven't done a thing to it since I've taken it home and this plant hasn't stopped growing and I just wish I had taken photos so that you could you know people could see what i'm talking about for example this um vine here when i got it it was broken um to down here with no leaves it had just this one leaf up the top here and since i took it home um which is less than three weeks ago it has sprung these other bits that you see here and lots of new growth has been on it this is a new vine this down here this tiny one i mean it's dried up actually it hasn't dried up it's where a new um shoot is coming out if i can get this i'll show you oh where are we so this is a new um leaf that's actually sprung on this plant as well and it was a lot shorter than it is now and it hasn't stopped growing since i popped it into the bathroom and um i don't know what it is about the bathroom because um there's no extra humidity in there um as you know at, you know um more than anywhere inside um my home so i'm not quite sure what's doing it or is the fact that i haven't watered or what it is that has caused this plant um, to be growing. Um, I don't know if you can see the soil. It's absolutely bone dry. Can you hear it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, really happy with the way this is growing. I'm not going to be putting this in like a, not anytime soon because I want to see um, how much it will grow. I want to see the bloom on it because I really love the little bell shape um, bloom or trumpet shape bloom, whatever you want to call them, that comes um, on here. So I'm going to leave it as it is, um, just as it is in the bathroom and just watch it grow basically. And as I say, I'm really sorry that I didn't take a photo so that I could show the before and after because it has grown leaps and bounds since I have taken it home. So this is sort of like going backwards from what I'm doing because the, the whole point um, of me making my videos is because I've actually gone soilless and doing the um, semi-hydroponic using Lekka with a reservoir. So having a plant in soil sort of like defeats the object of the videos. But I thought I had to just show you this one and whether you want to call it a confession or whatever because I do like strings of hearts and I really did want to own one that is thriving. So this is a compromise until I get uh the 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 one in Lekka um to sort of do its thing and show me what it can do. So yeah so this is it for the time being guys um any questions? I haven't been giving you any care tips about um, any of these three plants that I just showed you because I have got none at the moment. I've got to, I'm learning from these plants and seeing what it's got to tell me in terms of how it wants to be cared for because you can research as much as you like. Everybody's environment is different. Everybody, their lighting is different. Um, their humidity in their home is different so it's going to be very very different for each 
person in terms of the experience that they have in getting these plants to grow for them so this is it for now um as i say any questions um don't hesitate to ask i can only tell you what i've been doing so far in terms of looking after these three plants please do not forget to like my videos guys if you like what you see subscribe if you want to see more of what i do and once again i want to thank you very much for joining me on yet another leg of my journey into lekka Thank you for watching. See you next time.